Hey guys and gals, today we talk about the movie Black Candles, and um, I'm not sure this movie was done in 1980, because it says copyrighted by 1980, but then it says 1982 on imdb.com, so I guess it's 1980 in that country, and then 1982 for the US release. Um, all in all, um, this movie isn't for everybody, unless you're a fan of satanic horror genre movies, and I always say that some of the... I think I review a slew of satanic horror movies. Been a long time I reviewed one though. So, yeah. Um, Black Cat, I've been seeing the poster for this. I saw the trailer for this. I saw like an uncut scene for this on, on moviecentorship.com. So, this movie is pretty graphic with, when it comes to nudity. And, um, but all in all, I, I, did, I didn't enjoy this movie for what it was. You know, it's not bad. To, speaking for me, you know, like I said, you gotta be a fan of it. But um, it looked more like I think this. I thought it was Mexican horror. Then I think it, on IMDb it says Spain horror. And when you went to the end of the credit, when you first watched the movie, it says shot in England. So I guess it's Spain and English co-production. I would say, in my opinion. Um. Anyway, the movie's about this woman, her the sister with a man. They gone to this house and to find out that her brother died, and she wants to know pretty much what's going on, and um. Suddenly, you know, you got this woman, as you find out that she's a leader of the satanic cult, and it's like they practice sex magic pretty much because this whole movie is nothing but nudity of beautiful women, guys having sex and sex and more sex, and you even see one scene with goat sex. Yeah, there is goat sex in this movie. I don't know. That, I don't know. This was like hardcore porn in maybe certain parts of the country, but this was like softcore porn, I would say, because it, it looks so realistic. Like that, you if when you watch this movie, it looked like they did it or what, like really did it. That's how believable it is. But as the woman husband slowly turned to the dark side, like he ended up becoming part of the satanic cult, and the woman figures out that you know this is not right. She has to having visions. Of seeing what's going on with the satanic cult, and this witch woman want to make sure nobody don't like rat out on her or something. Pretty much, so of course she killed her brother, or uh, she kills another person in this movie. Anything by that gets away will die pretty much. But mainly it's just sex, sex, sex. You know, and slowly the woman will get trapped into it to herself when it gets towards the end of the movie. Um. All in all, um, I've been watching this type of genre for so long, like the old school, satanic genre horror movies with nudity and the way it's set up. Um, I I'm used to it, you know, so it doesn't bother bother me. So um, speaking for me, I I give it I give it a pass. I mean I mean not a pass like in a bad way, but like I said, if you if you into this genre, if you into this type of style of movie, I mean, I say give it a chance. A pass if you're not into it, so let's put it like that. Anyway, peace guys, see you later.